for the OG. He's in shock. Yeah, yeah, I know you're pulling me. Yeah, don't ever bring me. Huh? What? That head? I know, they're all over the place. Boys, oh, windy. What can we do? Uh, what can we do a video with no wind? Justice. So, Robbie McDonald, I showed up there. Father was there, and sister, that's good. Family support. And next thing you know, <laughs> oh, I bought DOG with me. First time that we bring a dog inside a courthouse. Look, he's pulling me. He's so disgusted. So anyway, so what happened? No wind here. So he showed up, then he goes. He saw me, then he goes. Charles LeBlanc. And then he starts saying that uh, what happened to uh, at Subway, blah, blah. That's not, that's not true. Why did you say that, Charles? You know, like I said. And what happened is he walked in there and said, give me all your money or I'll kill you. That's what he said. Not, it's not my story, but it was funny. So the sheriff stood up and he was, you know, like talking, blah, blah, blah. So, it, you know, they just, that was before the judge arrived. So then, like Danny Waters said many times, go to YouTube, right? Danny Waters and Charles LeBlanc. Oh, Danny's good. He says, for years, for what? 30, 40, 50 years, all they did is want me to stand up and talk. And they paid me for it. I made a good living. Just stand up and talk and talk. You know, nothing wrong with that. And he says, it's an acting job. Prosecutor, uh, duty console, just go there and let, yep, 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 yep. He said, the decision has already been made. So, what happened? There was, uh, they withdraw, withdraw some charges. And... The duty council, what's her name again? Pew, Pew or something, said that they, uh, she never seen a record so long, so long in all her career. It was 19 pages long. And uh, Mr. McDonald doesn't seem to pay attention to whatever's given. Fine, unpaid fine, and uh, no trespassing. He doesn't give it that. So what we're gonna do with Mr. McDonald? So she suggested 10 to 12 years. Uh, 10, to years. <laughs> 10 to 12 months in jail. I wish I would have marked everything down. No wonder Don McPherson is always going and going and going. There was so many things that was that was that was said there. And so the pro, the his lawyer, they paid the, they paid the lawyer, of course he's paid, so acting job. Oh my god, Robbie came from a family, uh, blah blah blah. He has his family here to support him. There was his mom and sister. And uh, he came, he has ADHD. He was forced to take Ritland. That's what I said, that's where I met Robbie 19 years ago when I was protesting against Ritland. Never mind, I'm almost done. Uh, 19 years in, uh, at night, 19 years ago. So anyway, it just went on and he's very impulsive and uh, he doesn't think he stole from a church. But he thought it's better than stealing from a church, than stealing from Canaan Tire. Anyway, it went on and on. And so when, it, when the judge was spoke, was spoke uh, when he realized he was going back to jail, uh, he then, then it started, started to cry and started to, you know, oh, I'm, I'm not going to live long. Uh, and then the crying stopped, then they started, then the sheriff moved the wrong way, then he was all hyped up and say, oh, what is he doing? He realized they were taking it back to custody. He said, well, I'm not going home. And he said, That's, let me finish. So all the charges, they gave him 30 days, all the charges, and then uh, probation order, no contact with the people that's involved. Uh, not allowing the property of NB Liquor. Uh, where else? Subway. Where else? Tim Horton. And there's another one. But if he goes, I told the 
the prosecutor after what happened he's not going to follow that and they say just tell him to call the police so here we go again and then they were talking about mental issues mental illness you know and there's no help but you can only help a person you could bring a person to, a uh, horse to water, right? I mean, it's the same thing. It, it go, it's all around town. But it was a nighting job. Uh, he uh, He's going to be serving 40 days in jail. So you can just imagine him coming out in the middle of the winter. And not the middle of the winter, what we're talking about. Uh, now he'll be December. He's going to be cold. And uh, he'll go take some met. And uh, he'll go into these stores and he'll go and become a nuisance. Hello. So, one minute. So, that's the verdict. Uh, 40 days in jail. So, let's see what will happen. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he'll just turn around and he's seen the light. Hallelujah. Like he'll go, whoops, sorry about that. He'll see the sun, he'll say, Hallelujah, no more met for me. I'm going to be a good abiding citizen and I'm going to preach the word of the Lord. Never know.